All right, threats to biodiversity. So it's difficult to quantify global diversity, um, but it is decreasing rapidly due to human activity. We're going through another mass extinction. Classifying the species conservation status is really helpful in conserving that biodiversity. Um, so we can see percentage of remaining species, so less than 60% of the remaining um, populations. Uh, estimates of the total population of species are um, very considerably, um, lots of different estimates. And it's really hard because we've only described a small fraction. So we're trying to kind of predict how many other species there are on Earth. Even in a place like Arizona, one of my friends is a, an entomologist. He studies insects and he's describing several new, maybe like a dozen or more new insect species every single year that are new to science. The current rates of species loss are far greater now than they have been in the past, um, and they will continue to increase um, as we increase habitat destruction, as we spread invasive species, as we help to change the climate, as we increase pollution, etc. Um, so some of the major causes would be habitat loss is a huge driver. I've seen a figure that there's only like less than 5% of original habitats remaining in un unimpaired forms. Um, we have invasive species, we have hunting and poaching and over harvesting, etc. Um, so the, the IUCN, um, which is a, or a international or a governmental organization, they produce a red list, uh, which will tell you the, the conservation level of different species uh, based on varying different factors. Um, and so here's the different levels of, of conservation they will um, attribute. So of course you could be extinct, um, meaning there's no more left. Um, you could be uh, any level of threatened, maybe critically endangered, endangered or vulnerable. Um, these are all threatened with going extinct. And then less concern, we might have near threatened or least concern organisms, which are not quite um, at a risk of going extinct though, could be at one point. Um, here's just a breakdown of, of how that looks in each organism or each group of organism. Uh, and you might see certain organisms like amphibians tend to have a higher percentage of, of endangerment um, than other organisms. Um, so here's some of the factors that, that help determine which category you would go in. So if you have a species, you would want to look at how big the populations are. Small ones can get wiped out a lot easier. How specialized are they? Do they eat one type of food or many types of food? Do they live in one area or many different areas? Uh, what's their distribution? Are they very local, only one spring in the entire world, or are they really widespread? What's their reproductive rate like? Are they R strategists having lots of babies, or are they K strategists and going to have very few offspring, which would affect their survival? Uh, what's their geographic range, and, and how intact is that, um, is that habitat? Is it broken up into a lot of pieces, or is it still pretty connected? What's the overall quality as far as nutrients and pollutants and everything in the habitat? Uh, what's the trophic level of the organism? Um, a lot of times uh, apex predators are uh, more difficult to conserve because there tends to be fewer of them as we remember from the 10% rule. Um, and then overall, what's, what's the probability that that organism will go extinct? This will be how they decide whether a population is endangered or if it's vulnerable or if it's of least concern. Um, so tropical biomes tend to have the highest biodiversity um, due to their really long history, relative stability, um, and just really a lot of time for different species to evolve. Um, so these areas are of major concern um, for conserving biodiversity. Of course, we've heard about um, fires in the rainforest, uh, in the Amazon. However, there's still a lot of habitat destruction um, in Indonesia here to grow things like palm oil, which we like to eat in foods such as Nutella. Um, but they're super important for maintaining biodiversity. Um, and they tend to also be in less economically developed countries. So you kind of have a, comp a conflict between trying to use the resource to support people while also trying to sustainably develop and actually conserve those resources as well. Um, so some example style questions, discuss the case histories of different species, an extinct animal, a critically endangered animal, and an animal that has been saved. Describe the threats to biodiversity from human activity in a given natural area. So 
those would be the hippoc, right? Habitat loss, invasive species, poaching, pollution, climate change. Evaluate the impact of humans on tropical biomes. Discuss the conflict between exploiting the resource, sustainable develop and conservation, right? A lot of the poaching uh, of ivory in Africa happens because people are really poor and they're looking for any source of income. Uh, and once again, you can find the link to this slideshow in the description.